for your first elimination tattoo, you must draw your tattoo using only live reference. <laughs> what the Let's bring him in. Oh, Whoa. my God. Oh. 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 Holy, Holy I'm afraid of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh. 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 Get, the, get the out of here. Are you for this elimination tattoo, we're testing your attention to detail. This week, you must tattoo one of my favorite images, a pinup. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> time. Details in pinups are super important because the proportions are so small. It's a very delicate process. Pinup girls date back to World War II. Early pinup girls wore more clothing, but as the decades passed, the clothing became more seductive and provocative. The pinup can be in any style. But here's the twist. The reference material you use for your design are the pictures you'll take during your photo shoot. This is going to be really tough. When you're using a model, you're actually working with the model to get the right expression, to get the right pose. I've done photo shoots before. I've never done a photo shoot with 10 people. It's going to be a circus. The model for your tattoo has appeared on the pages of some of the most well-known adult magazines. Mm. She performs burlesque. Please welcome Dorenzia. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. Dorenzia's hot. Dorenzia is your pinup model for this elimination tattoo. You must use the pictures you take during your 30-minute photo shoot as the reference material for your design. If you screw up the pictures, your tattoo doesn't stand a chance. Ah, oh, she looks amazing. All right, pretend you love Clint. You're all about the mohawk. Why can't we do this in all the challenges? Look here. I need to design something that fits the time frame. I'm terrible with time, so I'm probably gonna be in trouble if I don't keep things simple. Can I get you playing a piano? Kind of like tweaked out as much as possible, bend your back. We have three hours to get prepared. I'm not quite sure that I can have it all ready within that time limit. I'm really worried. My canvas is really not fighting me on moving from the ribs to the calf. I could imagine how this on the ribs would have felt. <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, that's good. Steve tried to me, but he really threw me a pretty nice toss, so joke's on you, Jack. So far, so good. I am definitely one of the top tattoo artists in the house. I probably can't even count how many Navy pinups I've done. I'm gonna kill it. I think there's gonna be a lot of bed uh, I've walked around, I've seen a couple. K Cutter, I'm gonna help you go home. Four hours left, that's one hour down. I think a lot of the guys would have been scared to try this on the side. It's an intimidating spot for yeah. some people on lower ability levels. My strategy at this point in the game is to try to win. My pinup girl is going to be solid. All my lines are clean. I'm going to have by far the most detail. It's going to be epic. I can't miss. It's three hours to go. Halfway through the tattoo, I realized those legs took me too long. Cool legs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> got two hours. Time is, is a problem. My canvas is doing great. He's laying still as a board. I'm working on the fingers right now. He's doing detail. This is the stuff I usually shoot myself in the foot on because I usually go too big. I've been worried about why on the judges with huge tattoos. Hasn't been working out for me. This time, I'm going to do an average size tattoo and make sure I get it done in time. In order to stay in the competition, I need to produce a solid tattoo. One hour remains, everybody. Got like 10 minutes. How long? Time feels like he's dripping away faster than I want to. Six minutes, bro. Thank you. I have to finish. I'm not gonna go another unfinished tattoo, but the fact is I'm not gonna be able to finish super detailed, super clean, how I like to do my tattoos. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. I know I'm going to end up in the bottom. I'm hoping that Mark does terrible. He will be the one who was going to get eliminated. Ready? Ready.
I'm really not happy with my tattoo at all. It looks too dark. The areas that I was trying to get the tight detail in missed the mark. I could very well be going home. Jesse, everything you've done has been extremely detailed. And then here's the detailed challenge. And so we don't have it. That's just weird, dude. What happened? Even back when I used to do pinups, I would never do a pinup this small. It's a trick. You can still show the detail in whatever size the tattoo would be. God damn, this thing looks like it hurts. It is so red and just beat that it looks painful. It looks like you took water and marked out where you were gonna shade and then tried to run shading over the top of it. You should be that guy that can do it all. How can't you do these basics? Mark. There's been a few tattoos you've done in this competition where we said it looked like a cover-up. Well, this time, you actually did a cover-up of your own detail. The detail in the jacket, the boots, the hair, the cigarette. Now the tattoo's done, can't see any of it. I broke my thumb right before I came in. I completely underestimated how much it was gonna affect me. If you don't feel like being here, throw in the towel. You owe your clients. You owe the person that you're gonna put something on forever the respect that you demand for yourself. But if you can't run a clean outline, then Please don't. Steve. You did this Navy pinup. Why did you select him? I'm from a Navy town. He was in the Navy. He wanted black and gray, so it just seemed to fit. I love the fact that you were able to pack so much detail into such a simple design. This is how it's supposed to be done. This is the right way to shade a figure, use the light and dark. You really are the shining example for how to do a pinup in this field. K Cutter. But overall, this tattoo's a mess. We gotta talk about the details. There's a lot of shaky lines in here. Her right hand is wonky as hell. Her finger gets bigger at the tip of the finger than it is at the base of the finger. Which finger are we talking about? That big ass weird finger hanging down there. Look at that hand. From here on out, there's no more forgiveness. And these kind of fundamentals are not gonna be able to keep you in this competition. Two of you tattooed a pinup as sexy as the original. And two of you missed the mark. Steve and Jamie, your tattoos were the best of the day. The judges have decided that the tattoo of the day goes to Steve, Mark, and Lalo. Your tattoos left a lot to be desired. Lalo, another tough outing. What's going on? What happened with this pinup today, I can't even like understand how it happened. The only variable here that I think it makes the whole thing different is time. I never miss a phase like that. I'm very methodic with what I do. I came to a competition to compete and there's no excuse for that. Mark. I overthought it again. It's just me overthinking the fight. I'm embarrassed and I fumbled the ball like this in front of you and I feel like I took a nut shot, man. The judges have decided. Lalo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Welcome, artists. Hope you're not squeamish, or this is gonna be a tough day for you. Whoa! Oh, are you kidding me? Ugh, I hate bugs so much. Oh, God. Uh, there are millions of eyeballs. Dude, I don't like bugs. Bottom line, I hate them, they're gross. Congratulations on earning a shop, but this competition is just beginning. The 16 of you will now battle it out for $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. We begin each week with a flash challenge. This week, we are testing dimension. Dimension is making the tattoo look like it's sitting above the skin, making your tattoo have depth. For this flash challenge, you must tattoo a bug. You've been randomly assigned a human canvas and your subject matter a scorpion or a tarantula. Oh, dude, I hate spiders. But here's the catch. You must shoot your own reference photo. To get the perfect photo, you must get up close and personal with the bug that you're tattooing. You will have to handle it. Uh, I don't like bugs. They bite, they're poisonous. This challenge is a nightmare. The winner of this challenge will assign all human canvases for the elimination tattoo. You have two hours to get your reference photo and complete your tattoo. If it doesn't look like your bug is crawling on your canvas, you're screwed. Your time starts now. Ooh, 
go there. I can see you want to bite me. You can go yourself. Today we're looking for these artists to show dimension by using shadowing, light source, and heavy shading. Oh no. We're gonna leave him alone. If you're a good artist, it's a great advantage to be able to have your own photo reference. For a struggling artist, it's gonna be the Achilles heel. Ooh! God, I hate this! I'll tattoo a scorpion, a spider, a black widow. Ooh! I don't give a if I have to touch one of them. That's a completely different story. All right, me and you are not gonna be buddies here. I hate this. Hello, little. Doing a good dimension tattoo is all about where you place your shadows. Oh, you're so pretty. It definitely helps to have a great reference photo. Nice leg movement, I don't even have to tell you. If you're not willing to touch it, your reference is gonna suffer because of that. That might be the money shot right there. Is he dead? It is hard as hell to get this little to move around. He's like in the corner, he's scared. The photos are coming out blurry. I am so one of the hardest parts of this challenge is going to be people taking their own reference. If you can't make it believable that that's on a person's skin, you're going to fail the dimension challenge. Oh, don't sting me. Don't sting me. Oh, oh my god. Hey, hi. My heart is beating out of my chest. Oh, don't go up. Don't go up, dude. Please don't sting my tattoo hand. I've got a tattoo. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be doing this, but we're gonna see what it looks like. I have a lot of blurry photos and I'm scared. If I don't think it's gonna look good as a tattoo, I'm not gonna do it on you. The stakes are high with this. I can't up. Thirty minutes to go, everybody. Have you ever done any uh, bugs like this before? Oh, scorpion, hell yeah. This is my first tattoo. I'm really excited to see how I stack up against the competition. I want to validate America voting me back. It's a bit rudimentary of a design. Could've gone a little bigger, but I was scared to. Last season, I overcomplicated everything. I like the shadows. This season, I'm trying to show that I learned from my mistakes. Five, four, three, two, one, that is it. Time's up, machine's down. No more ink. I'm worried because mine is potentially the worst. I am freaking out. Maddie, I like the gradation in the shadow itself from the black to the gray to really give it that dimension. I think it was a great job. Thanks. Melissa. The shadows give it a good dimension on which way this thing is going. Halo. You have some really heavy dark, but I think as this thing lightens, it's a good way to capture your dimension with a bit of the texture in the front claws, and then how the outside of the scorpion actually looks a little bit beveled. Ashley. This thing's small and cluttered. I had a lot of trouble getting just the right picture. A lot of them were coming out like super dark, so I kind of like freaked out. This competition does exactly this to you, and it takes you out of your element, out of your comfort zone. I think you had some issues. Right, I kind of panicked. Internally, I'm beating myself up enough, and I don't need their Randy. It's a lot of soft, furry little details, but no real structure. This definitely needs a forced outline. King Ruck. You put in a pretty clean outline on this. It got a little cluttered on the inside, so now you gotta try to just clean it up. David. Instead of trying to do this crazy photorealistic portrait, you just go in and do the tattoo as a tattoo. You did less and made it more. That's a great choice. Lydia. I would say overall, the dimension in this tattoo, as the spider goes back, you should feel a little more of the depth and the darkness of that, and it would make that softer gray shadow you have underneath it really pop. Sausage. You did hit some nice dimension up in the tail, but it is really dark, and the shadow kind of overpowers the image a little bit. Jim. The tarantula could have been a little darker, and the shadow could have been a little lighter, so they stood apart from each other. If you would have used more black in the actual body itself, it would have made it more readable. Kyle. Nice to have you tattooing on this competition. The tattoo's too little. If the tattoo was bigger and you had a little more space for the scorpion itself to be readable, that would have added a lot more dimension to that really heavy black cast shadow. It's hard to read what that is. I'm back in hell again. Oh yes, it is a competition. It's pressure, it's high stakes, and maybe I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was going to be. Today, we ask you to show dimension by tattooing a bug that actually looks like it's crawling on your canvas. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Halo. Ah! Go, 
overall, it was a great execution, great placement. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations. And for this next tattoo, Chris is calling the shots. Welcome, your live models. Today, I'm looking for you guys to create beautiful geishas. You're gonna be using these models and these models only as your reference. Their kimonos are adorned with things that were royalty for kings. You will have six hours to do it. Wow. And since this is Chris's specialty, if he doesn't like what he sees, he will send you home on the spot. You've each been randomly assigned a canvas. And your time starts now. I'm coming! He Japanese wants us to stick pretty much to yeah, Japanese, Japanese traditional, traditional, so it doesn't just cut off their torso. We'll put like some kind of flower or something. She has really strong facial features, so I think that's gonna work in our favor. Can you bend your fingers a little bit? Yeah. Can you just bring your head down just a little bit? Countdown to getting yelled at. I did not meet the American traditional challenge, and through some merciful grace, I am still in this competition. Plenty of time for you. Yeah, I think so. Big open face. Kelly is doing her own thing. Other than the hair do, yeah. it's the only thing that says geisha pressure's on. All these full body little pinups that yeah. I'm seeing. Delusions of grandeur. Four hours left. Four hours remain. Damn. No way. You don't like it? I like it, but it's facing the wrong way. Stencils on backwards. Mother. Placing a face towards the center of a person's body is a humongous rule, and I just broke it. <laughs> Breathe. Keep going. <sighs> CK, let me see you for a sec. What do you think of that face? I need to redraw it a little bit. Pull that one together. I got you. Three more hours remaining, guys. I don't give up easily. I had a really aggressive cancer. I've had two major surgeries. I obviously had to fight to be here. So failure is not an option. I like it, but it's not really Japanese. It's like all these people, everybody does their one thing. So I'll find a Danny when you're at home. Yeah, this isn't home, that's for sure. Last hour, one hour left. The ability to do a mass execution is liberating for us. If you don't want to listen to your fast pass, get the f out. CK, buddy, this is the end of the line, my friend. I have no clue what Chris Eck is doing. All right, Chris, this will be the last one. Appreciate the opportunity. Hey, Ryan, thanks for coming out, bud, but this is the last one. The twins are pretty much the same tattooer, so I think we only need one. So we just like really without you. Did you find you? Give her a wipe, Murray. End of the road. I think this is just not the environment for you. I overthought it. I'm feeling all this stress and pressure, and I choked. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Time to critique your work. Let's start with Kelly. You do beautiful tattoos. They're slick, but completely not Japanese. It's not feed me your style. It's feed me the fact that you can do all styles. Gian, you were like down to the wire. I should have probably shown less kimono. The kimono actually is the best part, so showing as much of it as you did was a good thing. You want to make sure that you make educated choices. At this point, you guys are not doing anything that you're asked to do. You have to show that you have the stamina and the chops to get to the end, so do it. For your first elimination tattoo, you must draw your tattoo using only live reference. <laughs> what the <laughs> Let's bring him in. Oh, Whoa. my God. Oh, 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 yeah. Holy I'm afraid of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Here. Are you serious? A hawk? Really? You gotta keep that thing on a leash. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, don't be moving. Whoa. 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 Gators, seen plenty of them. Don't wanna get near them and draw them. 
you will have six hours to tattoo in any style you choose. And your canvases are completely open. But you must use one of these animals and no other reference. Only using live reference? It's so unpredictable. You can't draw what you see if it's moving constantly. And for this tattoo, you will be tag teaming. Your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. Only one of you can tattoo at a time, and you must switch artists every hour. <laughs> We're doing what? Me and Dave have never tag team on a tattoo. Oh. Dave has his style, and I have my style. Can you hold the head? It's eight times harder to draw animals. Animals do whatever the hell they want to do. Stupid bird. Turns his head this way. Turns his head this way. He's got his head backwards. He's got his head tilted. Stay still, stupid bird. I'm trying to draw you. All right, guys. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's go. Let's go. Drawing is everything in this competition. Today, I'm hoping that somebody can actually draw from life and show me details. Because you're cool, I'm cool. Yeah, I can do that. The hardest part about tattooing when you are a team and you're tagging in and out every hour is who's micromanaging. No, no, just bring it up right there. Who's backseat driving, who's in control. Go a little bit in, right there. They're going to have to be on the same page to come up with a drawing that they can both execute. Right, Michael, I believe it's in your hands, bro. Let the fun begin. Yeah, you're good like that. Our shop deserves to be master shop because we're considered to be one of the best portrait realism shops in the world. Yeah, and we're just awesome people, so. You know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I specialize in photorealism. That includes color and black and gray. Darken it up? No, I know. I'm just trying to bevel that out a little bit. I've been tattooing for 26 years. I specialize in kind of everything because I've been tattooing so long. You're going to want to buy a pet alligator after this, too. <laughs> we got this. Four hours remaining, guys. Switch artists. All right, here we go. As far as like the lining, go with your instant, man. My favorite thing in the world to tattoo is birds, so I'm super stoked right now. Most people would know me for bright colors, smooth blends, really super soft black and gray. Can you point me some more of that red violet? Thanks, honey. You're welcome, dear. The cool part about having a teammate. I'm not feeling super confident in this challenge, but I know Jesse's awesome at this. We're like a yin and yang. I'm mostly known for new school. What's unique about my new school is that I have a nice girly touch. Definitely moving a little slower on this rose than I expected. Better to take your time do it right. I mean, you're running out of reference. I don't want you to go past what we've drawn. I'm really aiming to show the judges that we have a better concept over everybody else's. I mean, I don't want to like waste time just like not doing anything. I mean, well, it's better to not do anything than to do what doesn't need to be done. For the most part, I do black and gray, but at the end of the day, I want to do whatever technique works best to tell my client's story. Come on, let me run you this new script real quick. Dave is changing the sketch. Why are you doing that? We had a plan. Let's stick to it. Well, it was never finished, so. People doubt me because I'm a young black female. I don't have that many years of experience, but I'm here to prove everybody wrong. Just let people know, like, hey, we can do the too. Two more hours to go. Switch artists. Crunch time, buddy. Bro, I did not expect to see like live animals walking in. No, dude, that was the last <laughs> thing I expected. I've been tattooing 17 years. I am known for the realistic black and gray, high contrast photorealism style. Think you got it? I do. Mike's my boss. He owns the shop, so there's a lot on the line. I have been tattooing approximately five and a half years. My style is illustrative, bold, bright, colorful. What I'm weak in, he excels in. We're a perfect match. There is no reason we can't win this. Absolutely. You killing a brother? Thank Proud you. of you, huh? We're a big family. This is my brother for another mother. Yep. Probably a bit more black right in that area. Just to push it. At the end of the day, I want to show my family that here in the United States, you can make your dreams come true. We're here to win it. This is a good tattoo. This is the best thing out there. Five, four, three, Two, one, that is it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Very, very confidence, for sure. That's awesome. Tri-Cities and thicker than blood. Should be worried about going home today. John and Bobby Aries tattoo looks like a weird space worm. 
and Tri-City's tattoo just looks like just a tube with a head. It's just bad in a different way. Definitely one of a kind. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shot by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. Let's see how you did. Thicker than blood. This, to me, doesn't look like the snake that came in. For me, it looked like a stain, and everybody else here knows it. Look at the top line of the head. Look how it goes across all the way to the back of the body. See that hard line you put in? So you just took that thing's head, and you just took its body, and you went <laughs> broke it there. So it's already got a snap spine. It's completely anatomically impossible. You're not showing us that you can draw from life. Try cities tattoo. The big question is what's going on with this in and out of the skin thing? The snake is sitting on top of sand. Part of it is going in sand and part of it's going out of the sand. To me, it doesn't look like it's going in and out of anything. We drew exactly a boa constrictor, and that's what the challenge was, to draw from the reference. You're drawing from life. You're putting in the details from life to show that you can draw what you see. This does not convince me of that. The Marked Society. What was your plan of attack here? To figure out how to incorporate both our styles. I normally do a more of a realistic style. No, I actually yeah, I drew all the frame and the little medallion. This is the farthest from a realistic alligator. What you guys needed is the details in the body. You miss those textures and you miss the length of the snout. One of the two of you got to be able to see that something's off. We try not to step on each other's toes by doing that. For a team to win here, you're going to have to dance on each other's toes. Black Anchor. The drawing itself and the detail you guys were able to capture off of something that was moving, it did prove that you can draw. It doesn't have a flat look. It has a 3D texture look. If I run my finger across it, I can feel it. That's the check mark for the Ink Master box. Thank you. Artistic skin designs. I really love the tattoo. I like the fact that you can still see the entire anatomy of this bird. And the talons, especially, are really strong. A lot of technical application in here that came out really strong. A lot of outline, a lot of color blending. I think it's a great job. Appreciate it. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Artistic Skin Designs. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> The people that are safe went the extra mile in the drawing. I feel like with this one, less is more. Like, Dang, you're, think... not, you're not hearing. If you do a life drawing, less is not more. This is a silhouette with some stuff in it. The other two shops, they did a tattoo where there can be no corrections with our tattoo. We can add on to it. At least they we can't... show creativity in our tattoo. And we We're show potential. We're not talking potential. about creativity. We're that means that we got more to give. Since you guys are chiming in now, let's move along to your tattoo. This tattoo, for me, has a lot of problems. It does not look like the life study, which then tells me that you're challenged in drawing. Also, the quality of tattooing here is not top notch. I'm not saying that tattoo was perfect because it was not. So you acknowledge We're that powerful. you did a bad tattoo. We Listen, acknowledge that it didn't meet the challenge. It didn't meet the challenge. Thank you. I mean, we got a lot to show here, and we can prove it. Thicker than blood. I don't see the snake that came in here, Mark Society. I don't see the alligator that came in here either. Thicker than blood, the judges have decided you do not have what it takes to be master shop. You guys got a lot of heart being here, man. Keep going, learn, and grow from it. Please pack your machines and move out. Our piece was on point. If you see that all the snake, bro, my kid can do something better than that. I'm just disappointed, dude. But we going home because we're more creative than other people. I promised my wife, my kid, bro. Your kid will be proud of you, I can tell you that. Nobody got to see what we really do, bro. We did a killer piece, bro. Yeah. And this is not the last you will see from us. You got each other, brother. 